Hi, it's TK with the weekly words of encouragement. We're living in a time in our world when seeing someone wearing a mask is not an unusual sight. Due to the global pandemic caused by the COVID-19 virus, health officials encourage us to wear masks to help stop the spread of the virus. But when the pandemic ends and we no longer need to wear masks, we may actually still be wearing invisible masks. Now you may be wondering, what's an invisible mask? An invisible mask may be something that we wear or possess to help us hide our true selves. Because we don't want others to see us as imperfect or flawed, we may wear makeup or certain hairstyles, fancy clothes, uh, emphasize our job or our title, uh, buy expensive homes or vehicles or other things that aren't bad in and of themselves, but we use them or we have them because we want to appear to have it all together. But in reality, our true selves are often very different from the image we project to others. But even if we aren't open and honest with those around us, we must be open and honest with God because he can best help a willing soul. So I think about the Samaritan woman who met Jesus at the well. She had to take off her mask in order to benefit from meeting her savior. We read in John 4 that Jesus traveled to a village in Samaria on his way back to Galilee from Judea. He was tired from the long walk, so while his disciples went to the village to purchase food, Jesus sat down beside a well. He was there around noon that day, and as he was sitting there, a Samaritan woman came to draw water from the well, and Jesus asked her for a drink. The woman was taken aback by his request because she knew that Jewish people didn't associate with Samaritan people. So just a little bit of background, there was significant animosity between Jewish people and Samaritan people. That's one reason why the story of the Good Samaritan is so powerful. Anyway, Dr. Tony Evans in his Bible commentary explains this relationship. The Jews disliked the Samaritans, considering them an unclean race. So this was true because when the Assyrians conquered the northern kingdom of Israel, they exiled many of the Israelites to Assyria and they moved in other people from other parts of the world they had conquered. So the new people groups intermarried with the Israelites who still lived in the northern kingdom. So the people of Samaria were of mixed ancestry and they had mixed religious practices that they also may have acknowledged God, but they worshiped false gods as well. So consequently, when traveling, Jewish people from the southern kingdom purposely avoided going through Samaria, but not Jesus. He had to go through Samaria, according to John 4.4. 4. Now back to our story. The Samaritan woman at the well was surprised that Jesus was talking to her, much less asking her for a drink of water. But Jesus met the woman where she was at, drawing water at noon in the midst of the heat of the day because she didn't want to face the looks and snickers and comments from the other women who gathered at the well. Jesus ministered to her hurting soul. John 4, chap John chapter 4, verse 10 reads, Jesus replied, If you only knew the gift God has for you and who you are speaking to, you would ask me and I would give you living water. The water Jesus had to offer was life-giving. John 4:14 4, tells us, But those who drink the water I give will never be thirsty again. It becomes a fresh, bubbling spring within them, giving them eternal life. But to fully receive this life-giving water, the Samaritan woman had to take off her mask. She had to be transparent 
about who she was and what she had done. Here's what happened, and we can read this in John chapter 4, verses 15 through 18. Please, sir, the woman said, give me this water. Then I'll never be thirsty again, and I won't have to come here to get water. Go and get your husband, Jesus told her. I don't have a husband, the woman replied. Jesus said, you are right. You don't have a husband, for you have had five husbands, and you aren't even married to the man you're living with now. You certainly spoke the truth. You see, the Samaritan woman could have lied about her life. She didn't even know this Jewish man who was prying into her personal business. Instead, she took off her mask and revealed her true self. And by doing so, she opened her heart to the Savior who was offering her eternal life. And by taking off her mask, she also exposed her people to the gospel and they believed in Jesus. We read in John chapter four, verse 39, many Samaritans from the village believed in Jesus because the woman had said, he told me everything I did. So let's take off our mask and ask God to help us become the people he's called us to be. Let's end this devotional with the words of Psalm 19, verse 14. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing to you, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Amen. I pray you have a blessed week. Bye.